Our next guest is Ace, and he is one of our youngest uh, adoptable dogs right now. He's only five months old, and uh, he is a wiggly mess. Um, but when Ace first came in, this is not what we saw. We saw him, you know, in the back of his kennel, small as he could possibly be, shivering and shaking because he was so stressed out. Um, so it took some time to kind of get Ace to feel more comfortable with us. And now, for the most part, with most of the staff, he is your typical five-month-old puppy. Um, he does know some basics. He knows sit and he knows paw, um, but he really needs to obviously be house trained, um, which is something that we don't guarantee any of our dogs are, but because he is a puppy, that's definitely a skill he needs to work on. Um, you know, walking nicely on his leash, little impulse control so he's not jumping all over you. Um, but he has so many great qualities, um, one of which being he loves other dogs. So if you're looking to add an additional dog to your household, Ace would be a great mix. Um, you know, using another dog, another puppy actually, is how we got Ace to come out of his shell. So he would really benefit from having another dog to not only play with, but to help teach him how to dog and kind of boost his confidence when he's in unfamiliar situations. Um, he is very, very treat motivated, as you can see, um, and uh, is very quickly kind of learning that him doing good things brings treats, which is, you know, now he's sitting, he's like, I want another treat. Um, he is recommended for no small children because loud noises and fast movements freak Ace out. Um, we were outside the other day and one of the ACOs came up with reflective sunglasses on and uh, it took us a while to figure it out like he was really scared of her and that was what it was. It was the reflective sunglasses. So he is definitely under socialized and needs um, somebody to show him that all of these new things in the world that maybe he hasn't experienced, whether it be sunglasses or umbrellas or hats or different noises are safe and not scary. So um, just all the stuff that you would typically do with a puppy a little bit younger than Ace, you're gonna have to really work um, double time to, to teach Ace that the world is uh, a safe and fun place and that means good things and it's not scary. So when he first came in, we, we actually had a hard time even getting him on a leash, but now we can do that with no problem. Isn't that right? Yes, yes. So when Ace came in, one of the things that we noticed is that on the bottom part of his neck, he had some injuries that are pretty consistent um, with um, you know ineffective use of a prong collar. So a lot of people use those things when their, their animals are pulling um, because it's easier than doing some other force free methods of training and um, that definitely led to a situation where now when we went to put things around Ace's neck he didn't want that he was very nervous because in his mind people touching his neck or putting leashes around his neck collars created pain um, so we had to do some counter conditioning where you know you're starting with the leash very far away and it gives him some cheese which he really likes and then eventually we were able to get him on a leash and because he does pull um, we've put him on a harness so that he's not going to hurt his neck and it's also going to be a little bit of a different mental game it's going on differently he's going to be more comfortable with that in the long run while well, we can work here um, and then obviously continuing that on to his uh, forever home with teaching him to walk nicely on a leash um, so he is very trainable um, because it only took us about three days to really get him comfortably walking on a leash from being afraid of it and backing away from it every time he saw it. So um, never underestimate uh, a food motivated puppy and the power of cheese, right? Um, um, Ace, much like uh, Cocoa Puff, is not on our main adoption floor because all of the loud noises of the other dogs um, with our large dog population right now freak him out. So he lives in that quiet area with Cocoa Puff um, and uh, you would, can see him um, if you ask the ladies at the admin desk when you come in um, to visit, um, specifically to see Ace. And you can make those appointments by always going to visit fcac.as.me.